Let's go to D.C. Lawmakers want the U.S. Postal Service to stop helping to fuel what is a cruel, barbaric practice, a blood sport, if you will. I'm talking about cockfighting. Yeah, Representative Mike Quigley is among several members of Congress who have now signed on to a letter uh, that urges the post office <clears throat> to stop shipping these birds for blood sport. He joins us right now to talk more about this. Good morning to you, Congressman. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, this is horrible when uh, I, I got the message that this was going on. And I, I want to ask you because, you know, I've heard about this, but for those who aren't familiar with cockfighting, you know, how long has this been going on? And, and Americans not even knowing that it's going on within the post office, like, you know, the shipment of it. Sure. And look, animal fighting is bad enough. Uh, can you imagine the circumstances where uh, a live bird is put into a box with no light, no food, no water? transported typically from North Carolina to places like Guam, an 8,000 mile journey, uh, where then it is, um, it is put to death in a, in a fighting situation. Uh, it's a felony for this to take place, to further it, promote it. It is a felony to ship animals for the purposes of fighting. But unfortunately, what we've learned is USPS is the primary mode of shipment. So we're asking them to uh, dramatically increase their inspections and to develop a detailed plan on how they're going to stop this. You know, we've heard that Border Patrol and the Justice Department and others on the federal government side have stepped up their efforts. Uh, we need the post office to, to play a role in this uh, and these actions as well. Let me ask you this. You know, I, I want to tread a little lightly here because there are, are deep cultural roots to this sport, for lack of a better term. Uh, and yet, you're not alone. Alderman Ray Lopez, uh, I know, and Anthony uh, Napolitano, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, brought to council a measure that would have uh, really put the handcuffs on people who wanted to bring barnyard animals to their neighborhoods, in particular in an effort to stop cockfighting. And that thing has languished in city council. Now, I don't need you to speak to that, but what's with all the headwinds here? This seems like a no-brainer. No roosters and horses and cows on a neighborhood street here in Chicago. Um, you know, I understand the sensitivities that, you, that you're trying to uh, bring up, but in the final analysis, uh, time catches up with certain things. This is, this is a, a horrible practice. Uh, it, it has been a felony since uh, the beginning of this century. So, uh, you know, it's time that we be in the practice. Uh, people have to come to terms with the reality of the situation, uh, and we need USPS to play a role. Yeah, so you sent the letter. What, what's next? I, I think we follow up. Uh, USPS is, is, you know, I anticipate that they're going to increase the inspections that are taking place. We're asking them if, if they need additional resources. Uh, we've asked them what else is a roadblock to stop such practices. So we're going to be working with uh, the inspector general and the chief postal inspector uh, on an ongoing basis to follow up on these measures. Well, uh, Congressman, it's always a pleasure to have you with us. Uh, it's certainly an important cause. Uh, hopefully you can join us again, maybe with some good news that things are, in fact, about to change, uh, particularly with, uh, with regard to the USPS. Sounds good. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. To you yeah, as well. Yeah, thank you. You as well. All right.